So I'm gonna do a series of short videos. Everyone's screaming at me every day where I'm gonna show you how Athena is doing. So this was requested by somebody who um, is starting with goats and kind of wanted to see how it progresses. And I thought every day progress would be something I could do when I bring her in for her little snack of the morning. She already had breakfast, so her adder today looks pretty much the same. So no changes in that. One thing that I've noticed is that this area is getting a little bit more swollen and you can see, uh, including her vulva, maybe TMI, but that's, that's what it is. And she, when they are going to have their babies, they drop and they have a hollow space here. Oh, the sun is kind of in the middle. This is her spine where this line is and this will get hollow. So she's dropping from here little by little. Those babies are getting in position or I don't know, something they're doing. And, but it's not, she's not hollow here cause she's not ready. That usually happens within a few hours or at least with my does, that's what happens. And the babies seem to be kind of quiet, but if I press, and I encourage you to do the same, if I press here, like, oh, there's a baby here. <laughs> I can clearly feel the baby there. I don't know, I haven't been able to do this with other does in my herd, but you can also, this was not happening, but you can also start to see her four adder, there's no pockets. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. There's no pocket here. Sometimes it happens, but I'm really, really excited about that. And I'm going to check her to see how she's doing. There's something going on with her and I'll do another video about it, but she's starting to lose some hair. It's, I don't know if you can see it. And, um, I just, I'll share what we're doing in another video. She's also losing some hair around her eyes, but I'll do a different video about that. This is a better angle. Um, I'm going to check her ligaments and then you start from here and then they will start to fan from here out. So they're not really close to the tailbone. They're here and they are thinner and thinner in width but they're still there and they're strong i'm not too worried about it the only thing i'm worried about is that all these babies have been taking all her need for minerals and other things and she is kind of lacking that and you can see that from her ear. since i'm bringing her here i'm also making a point to give her a handful of minerals because she needs them. And if she actually feels like she needs them, she'll eat them. And if she doesn't feel like she needs them, she won't. So I'll give her a couple minutes and then see if she wants them. And if she doesn't want them, it's okay. I can leave it there for the other dose or I can put it back in the mineral feeder. But I always put some after I feed her the snack in the morning, just to make sure that she is okay, that she doesn't need more. They know when they need it. So that is my little update for today, May 9th. And this is how she's looking from the top. I feel like the closer that she gets to the due date, the, the deeper that she looks, of course, I'm on the wrong side, but the deeper that she looks, <laughs> look how close to the ground she is, and not so much the roundness. The roundness, it's big, but it is, yeah, you can see it better from there.